The View co-host Whoopi Goldberg disclosed that the moderator prevented her from having a humiliating wardrobe malfunction. The morning program host expressed her displeasure with daylight saving time and then talked about the embarrassing moment with the other panelists. Whoopi, 67, pleaded with her home audience after her extended on-air tirade, saying, Please, don't go crazy because I said I'm crazy. We're enjoying ourselves. Every time we say something, I forget that they go crazy in the newspaper, the host of The View went on. They say things like, oh my god, Whoopi was slapping people and freaking out, it's crazy. Sarah Haynes, 45, the moderator's co-host, interrupted with a joke, saying Whoopi's made-up slap attack occurred before the show. The 33-year-old Alyssa Farah Griffin used the opportunity to praise Whoopi's composure and express gratitude for rescuing her from a crisis. By the way, Whoopi saved me from a wardrobe crisis this morning, she declared. She told me to turn around because I wasn't wearing the pink tutu when I walked out. So it could have been a disaster, the co-host went on. Whoopi then added, it was short, holding her hands slightly apart before opening her arms and revealing, and this wide. I really wanted it to work, and it just wasn't working, Alyssa acknowledged. Whoopi acknowledged this and retorted, there's just no way it could. Whoopi acknowledged during an on-air tirade that she was having trouble adjusting to a significant change in her schedule. The host said that she was freaking out about the weekend's daylight saving time shift during a commercial break. I'm attempting to awaken. The moderator apologized and began the conversation, saying, I am still freaking out over daylight savings time. I am not doing well. Whoopi looked straight into the camera and said, her expression unpleasant. Joy Bihar, her 80-year-old co-host, justified moving the clocks forward, saying, well, what do you think? They must take some action. Whoopi, though, interrupted her abruptly and yelled, they don't have to do this. Joy made an attempt to justify the time shift by speculating that it's about the kids in the morning. The ghost actress shot back, saying, you know how dark it was this morning at 7 a.m.? In response to that response, Whoopi's fellow panelists on The View, Alyssa Acera, and 54-year-old Sunny Hostin all jumped in, with the latter asserting that the purpose of daylight saving time was to accommodate hens, which require sunlight to lay more eggs. Her coworker, however, was confused by what she had just heard and remained dissatisfied. Chickens, that's all good and stuff for farmers, but why do I have to deal with what the chickens are going through? Whoopi inquired, evoking laughter around the space. WebExhibits.org states that the main purpose of daylight saving time is to make better use of daylight, adding that the time change also saves power and energy. I get it, kids have to go to school, and they would like them to go in the light, but it's not light, Whoopi said as she carried on her tirade. At 7.30 am, it was still dark, I was furious. It will change soon, Joy reassured her irate co-host to which the TV personality shouted, when? After a lengthy outburst, she conceded that she felt crabby about the move. Because the show used pre-recorded material while the panelists were away, the View viewers have taken offense. Whoopi said, I'm having deja vu, as she made her way toward her seat on the studio stage during Thursday's broadcast of The View. There was a brief notification that read, previously recorded, at the side of the screen when Whoopi was speaking. This indicated that the show had been pre-recorded rather than airing live that day. Since none of the View's panelists could be reached that day, a pre-recorded show was shown in their place. Viewers were upset that there was no live coverage back then. The show was instantly criticized by viewers for playing a pre-recorded section. Someone responded, Not that matters, but why are the ladies off today? because it said previously recorded. They went on, yep, previously recorded hashtag the view, as their suspicions were validated by what they saw on TV. It's a damn shame. The number one watched talk show on daytime, and they still doing sloppy work, another person commented.
shame on you, hashtag the view. Additionally, hashtag live Kelly and Rian has the same thing, the greatest ratings, terrible cuts. I can do better editing, I find myself shouting at the television. A third admirer wrote, yesterday was T-B-E-D, today is O-F-F for the women. Could it be that Whoopi makes too many whoopsies that they decided it now needs to be pre-recorded? Wondered one fan in response to the show's taped version.